Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpents. And if you do enjoy the videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Yes, it's race day. Yes, there's a lot going on in the Crypto Serpent world this weekend. But I could not, I could not let you down and bring you this urgent, urgent update just before I head out to the racetrack. The SEC's motion to strike to strike Ripple's fair notice has been denied. Boom! Mic drop. We are off. We're off to the moon. Now, why is this so important? Well, if the SEC is deemed that they did not give a fair notice to Ripple over the last, uh, I don't know, like almost 10 years, then this case will go in the bin. Now, there is one tiny little factor that could be, if you, you know, say a negative about it, is that if this does happen, then potentially we don't have the legal clarity, like confirmed, signed, sealed and delivered, that XRP itself isn't a security. So that could be the only tiny little negative thing. However, as the price has already suggested, as soon as this news came out, this was big and it is very, very big because the mountain that SEC had to climb has just become a lot taller. And you and I know where this is going to end. You and I know where this is going. It's going where it was always meant to go. And that is a settlement or a win. Liquidity, on-demand liquidity, one currency to rule them all. And day by day, we will get what, what is coming. And of course, it has to, there's been a lot of controversy about XRP. There's a lot of doubters, haters, and there's a lot of people that just think that it's never going to happen. But let me tell you something. Good things come to those who wait. And let me tell you, I've been patient. I know you've been patient and our patience will be rewarded. But this is very, very, very big. And I, I, I could not get away. You know, I could not leave you guys, you know, to, um, to not tell you this. Now, now Ripple also moves to strike rebuttal report on XRP price manipulation. So there's other things going on as well, right? So Ripple has moved to strike an impermissible rebuttal report written by the securities and finance expert. So there's a lot of things happening in this case. So things are about to move very, very fast. And I'm excited about that because, you know, the rumors and the talks about a, an April settlement have just become bigger. That's the reality, right? This is the this was a worst case scenario for, for the SEC. <clears throat> and the fact that they've been denied, it's putting a lot, a lot of pressure on them. And, you know, there is very, very high, strong chances now that we are going to see that. Now, if you do want to read about it, you know, you can jump online. There's plenty of articles that have dropped to the actual PDF about the motion being dismissed. Overall, the internet has gone crazy over XRP. It is all over Twitter. Everyone's, it's on everybody's lips at the moment because it is so significant. And that's what I love about it, right? So today's order makes it clear that serious question whether the SEC ever provided Ripple with fair notice that is um, that its distributions of XRP since 2013 would ever be prohibited under the securities law. That there, ladies, gentlemen, I am so excited to be here with you. I'm excited about today's race, but let me tell you, uh, this, this, uh, this could top it. Right? That's a big call for the serpent, because it's been a long time in the making, this uh, race event. But uh, let me tell you, my, 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 what have we woken up to? Now, Brad has gone on Twitter straight away going, if you weren't paying attention then, you should be now. Huge win for Ripple today. It is a huge win. It's a massive win, and I'm going to actually retweet it right now as we speak. It's awesome. It's exactly, exactly what, what we needed to kick off our weekend. Long weekend, by the way, in Australia. Why the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit is a lose-lose situation despite one clear winner. Over here, it talks about, you know, the fact that, you know, Ripple could win the case, but still not have that legal clarity. And so they're talking about what would that mean? How does that look? And ultimately, look, we... We've waited this long, you know, we do want to win on our own terms. And we do want to see Ripple, you know, get 
the legal clarity that it really truly does deserve. Like that, that there for me is the true best case scenario. So interesting times ahead. Very, very interesting times. Let's see what, you know, we're only on the 12th of, uh, of March. But look, there's a lot, a lot going on, right? The market is down. You know, it's the only one, almost the only one in the top 100 today to be up. You know, like the market is down. I mean, you know, we're sitting at a $38,000 Bitcoin. I did talk about the possibility that we could see uh, XRP lead the way for old coins to, to pump this year. You know, and, and look, right now it's looking pretty positive, right? It's looking pretty good. So it is exciting and, you know, it is nice to, to see it right up there. You know, it's number two today as far as performance goes. You know, sitting at almost 80 cents at the time of making this. But it's exciting. It's really, really exciting, um, you know, the news that we've um, we've received today. And Ripple is, I mean, Ripple and crypto is here to stay. You know, if there have been, um, if there's been any doubters, if there's been any, you know, like there are skeptics out there that think, you know, crypto is a bubble and blockchain is a bubble. But to, to those people, I say to you, internet wasn't a bubble. Social media wasn't a bubble, MySpace wasn't a bubble, Facebook wasn't a bubble, and blockchain and cryptocurrencies aren't a bubble. You know, we do resist change, we fight change, we argue against change, but change is here, and blockchain, cryptocurrency is here. And the problem that XRP solves for the on-demand liquidity to have instant, instant liquidity compared to the current system SWIFT, it's only one way this is gonna go. And we're going to put a dent in SWIFT this year. And then, you know, within the next two years, you could see SWIFT completely out and Ripple take over, XRP. So what else, right? I mean, you know, it's quicker, it's faster, it's cheaper, and it can sustain the whole world with its technology. And it's been working at it for the last 10 years. So to me, tick, 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 and more ticks. Now, 347.2 million XRP have been shifted by Ripple. FTX and other top tier exchanges. So once again, lots of moves happening in, in the dark, you know, like moves that happen in the night and they happen when you least expect it. And that to me is also very, very important to look out for. You know, it's not what's being said, it's what's underneath what's being said. You know, like you gotta read between the lines and that is really, really important, right? With anything, you gotta read between the lines. You know, you're not gonna get a message delivered to you on a silver platter. Like you need to read between the lines of what is going on. Lots of money being moved around. On the liquidity hub pushed back, you know, like a man on launch this month. Why? Is there a settlement coming in April? Well, today we took a big step towards that. Now XRP and Terra are neck and neck at the moment, but to me, I don't really pay attention to that. Like to me, it's not, you know, they're two completely different projects. They do two completely different things. Terra has been tearing it up. It's been, you know, phenomenal to, to watch it and, and how fast it's growing. So, where to from here? Well, it was the news that we needed, right? It is breaking out of that particular formation and we could see it, you know, touch 80, which it did, come back down to like, you know, maybe, you know, come back down to about 70 or 69 cents. But when we do get that clear break, you know, it will be a significant break, you know, probably probably around towards $1.20, come back down to about $1.10, push up towards $1.90, $2, then come back down to $1.80 and then shoot off into the $2.60, $2.70 range. And from there, there is no resistance to the previous all-time high because the way that XRP pumped back in 2017, 2018, it just was like a straight clean line from $2 onwards. So it is going to be really, really, really fascinating to watch it develop and how it's all going, how it's all playing out. But whichever way I look at it, you know, despite today's news, right? Already the way that this charts are forming up, the how long it's been since the previous all-time high, it is a massive spring, and when it, it's it's going to be let go, whatever date that is, it's going to shoot off into the distance, and it's going to catch a lot of people out. Double digits, $14, $16 is not out of the question at all. Is it a fake breakout? Are we about to retest? Are we about to move? Time will tell. Time will tell. But right now, it's looking good. It's looking real, 
real good with from whichever way I look at it it's looking real good double digits I think double digits are on their way as a financial advice I'm not a financial advisor but the way I'm interpreting it and the way that I've been seeing it and the way that this is all developing I think double digits are on their way thank you all so very much if you did learn something new today don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button like I said emergency video had to go out there before going out today there won't be an XRP video at the same, at, at the same usual time as tonight, but I will be back tomorrow. Ciao.